Hello everyone, today we will start the 3D build. Normally I am starting my build with preparing 3D printed parts, but like I mentioned, er mentioned earlier, my 3D printed parts are in very bad quality due to bad of my D0. So yeah, as you can see, it's this one. Uh, by the way, I will use a BN bed noob for the tool head. And this is the front part of it. And as you can see, it's this part is warped a lot. And uh, basically quality is, yeah, if you can see, here is warped. Uh, quality is not that much good at this type fight. Uh, some of them good, but yeah, some of them are a little bad. So my idea is I will put together all the parts and and also, by the way, another thing, I couldn't print skirts, for example, because it does not fit on the bed. So my idea right now is putting all the parts together. And first thing to do after doing small calibration, first thing I will print all parts of the three dance and basically I will replace the 3D printed parts. Basically, I will replace the 3D printed parts and also uh, since i will be printing skirts and all other stuff also at the end it will be 3d printed parts will, will be replaced and the missing parts will be also mounted because of bad 3d printed parts i will skip this since i'm already explained the putting together the frame on the v0 i uh, sorry on v2 like it's has a similar shape and also v0 i will not be going on deep i will just mention mentioning some different parts from the v2 and others will be just most probably time lapse and the most important thing is having a flat surface for that i'm using ikea glass shelf you can use glass mirror or countertop in the kitchen and uh, another important thing you need to have clean cut and these holes needs to be drilled in the middle in the width wise so we will need eight of these pieces for 220 millimeter which has tapped on both sides and we need this one um, again yeah, it's 420 but it's whole there is a hole on the middle and is also tapped on both sides and we need one small 330 millimeter and it has one side tapped this is for yeah back and now we will start with yeah we will use m5 by 16 like i said i will put the frame together and if it is square enough i will use it otherwise i will make a new cut after disassembling it so we will start with placing our screws to tap the parts so let me prepare it Now we will try to put them together, but you need to care careful about one thing, there is a one extra hole in here, so you need to be careful about the orientation of this because there is no other hole on the other side. For the bot top and bottom, you have uh, all sides are holes, so you can use whatever you want, but here this hole needs to be on the upside. And Imagine the printer is facing to you, the holes need to be facing to you also because you will, we will place a, another extrusion in here, so it will be like that. I will not use any machine square or something, I will just use the flat surface that I found and that's all. I will push them all the extrusions together, so with that I'm hoping it will be... So be square enough. 
so let's see. And I'm not talking at this moment. First I will check, then I will talk. I put frame together as you can see and I measure the diagonal distances for all six sides the difference is less than one millimeter so that means the cuts are clean enough so right now according to diagonal distance right now the this frame is on square and for what you need to be careful about while you are putting the assembly you need to be careful about these holes where you are putting the gantry's frame so these holes for the back end for the front and back should look the same side and it's the same for the right side also and this frame is back on our printer so that means there should be no hole in this side in the gantry level the hole is on this side on this side and you need to be careful about the orientation of this hole or the hole and remember that the shorter part needs to be empty in the back so this frame needs to correspond to the longer parts of the frame Another thing is this normally manual suggests that using 330 millimeter frame to locate these Gantt frames. However, I don't have any other than 330 except this one, which we need to use. Uh, so I basically use the machinist square for that. So when I put the machinist square on the top, so I, I tweak this one's position once everything is finished. I mean all frame base, all frame structure is finished. After that, I tweak this one's position to gain the profile position. So I put I put the my machine square like that, and as you can see, it is in the 13 centimeter. So the zero is here. And the it's positioned on 13 centimeter so there should be one ton 110 millimeter gap in here with the upper frame is becoming 130 so with that I tweak the position of the gantry uh, gantry frames and another thing don't forget to put the back frame uh, you need to slide this yeah you know you can only slide this one you need to put the screw on the tapped part and before you putting this gantry or sorry this frame or this frame you need to slide in this one and after that you need to put the this frame or this frame so don't forget to put this one because you cannot yeah you need to slide this in the slot so if you forget and don't want to mess with your gantry you can yeah, somewhere in the corners you can just extend this cheek of the frame extend this up to the screw head and you need to 
to screw very sensible, I think. But yeah, just don't forget to put this one before you putting hole the entry. And yeah, yeah, like I said, the diagonal distance are less than one millimeter, so I'll use it like that. I don't, I won't disassemble it, and yeah, after measuring it, I torque the this screws a little bit, not that much. I torque them, I tightened them, and yeah, that's all for the frame. So, see you on the next one.